Hi folks, this is probably going to be one of the quickest videos ever. It's a video that just covers the altitude and the climb indicators. Uh, this isn't covered in the uh, uh, the manual, uh, but it is uh, pretty, as I said, it is pretty obvious when you cover other things. So it's these two right hand channels here. If I just zoom in, uh, you can see the altitude. Now the key is to see that your altitude is where the yellow line now, any out readout, the yellow line intersects with the readouts here on the right hand side, not the white line that is the horizon. Okay, that's the first thing that's pretty obvious. And uh, you've got actually three readouts here, and the first one isn't mentioned in the manual actually. Um, the, the main one to look at is oh, hello, uh, we've just got a change in lighting, never mind. Uh, the first one is uh, this uh, barometric height. Okay, so it's your, your altitude, your true altitude above sea level, your barometric height. We're at Leeds Bradford at the moment, it's one of the highest airports in England. And uh, so you can actually see we're just below 700 feet. But you can also see a second display to the right hand side here, which is the radio altitude. And that is uh, uh, indicating that um, in terms of the altitude above ground, well, we're on ground because it's zero, because that little yellow line is well it's hitting the zero uh, just just there and so yeah two different readouts uh, there and as we increase altitude uh, we will see um, a lower altitude here for every you know as we ascend generally left hand uh, column here is, uh, is is interesting in that that is your rate of climb okay and that's not um, that's not pointed out before, but it's, it's fairly straightforward as you see. So what we'll do is we'll just zoom out a little bit um, so we can see what's happening. And I'm going to pop this into autopilot mode, as you know. You'll see me click straight away onto the hover mode as uh, soon as we get moving. Ordinarily, I would be using left rudder uh, to stop the uh, the helicopter roaring to the right. Uh, but um, because I am going to do it really quickly and use autopilot, I'm not going to worry with that. And we'll just hold gently where we are. So I'm just going to lift off now as I'm lifting the collective you can see the readout on the left as we just lift off and then the autopilot will give me the options there we go uh, there we are straight away into hover mode and there we go okay so here we are beautiful North Yorkshire oh, I love you North Yorkshire okay and uh, although I'm tempted to have a look out the window I'm just going to pull up the collective and you'll see the uh, two things happening well, more than one thing. You see, firstly, can you see this number here? Four, five, six, seven. This is my rate of climb. Don't know what the units are for rate of climb. Maybe that might be looking at that. Um, a thousand feet a minute, maybe. Or, or, I'm not sure. Somebody perhaps can tell me about it, but you can see see that I'm increasing so if I draw up on the collective more there you go up it shoots and I'm into torque difficulties and lower down the power and you can be in this yellow level don't forget in for a limited period of time so there you go I can go right there up to there okay so there we are nice and nice and high and you can simply see the altitude increasing here 19 to 2,000 feet coming up to 2,000 feet and I'll just lower the collective once that approaches and you can see the rate of climb drop down. Rate of climb virtually goes to zero, and then we are 2,000 feet. Okay. And then significantly, you see that even though we're at 2,000 feet, we're just below 1,300 foot above ground level because that right hand there is the radio altimeter height. And there we are. Beautiful, beautiful Yorkshire. I think I might actually go on. Might go and fly now, really. Okay, that was just a simple tutorial just for anyone who'd missed it. And uh, there's also, don't forget, if you look at the um, tutorials for the airspeed and the first uh, level indicator, I think it is, um, you'll see that there's a, a best rate of climb speed on the left hand side there as well. So, folks, just pray that's helpful sometimes. You know, you're just looking, just wondering, or can't quite find something and Maybe you find this video and it was really, um, really helpful. Just gave you what you needed when you needed it. So don't forget to subscribe. Put those comments in the comment section. I'm more than happy to chat with anyone. And once again, I don't pretend to be an expert.